In this problem, we'll be using percent composition data in order to first calculate an empirical formula. Then after that, using the molar mass of the compound, uh, we're going to combine all of our information in order to calculate or find a molecular formula. To begin, we would like to calculate or determine the empirical formula for this compound. We know that it's 82.76% carbon, 17.24% hydrogen. If we assume a 100 gram sample, that will make the following math very easy. In a 100 gram sample, we'll have 82.76 grams of carbon, and we'll have 17 0.24 grams of hydrogen. Now we just want to do some dimensional analysis. We know that one mole of carbon has a mass of 12.01 grams, and we know one mole of hydrogen has a mass of 1.01 .01 grams. That's a 1. This will allow us to calculate the number of moles for each element present in this compound. 82.76 divided by 12.01 works out to be 6.89. Remember, this is moles of carbon, moles, and 17.89. 24 divided by 1.01 .01 works out to be 17.07 moles of hydrogen. So we're getting very close to determining our empirical formula. Let's change colors here and consider these values, 6.89, 17.07. We want to find the ratio of these numbers. The easiest way to do that is to divide each of the numbers by the smaller of the two. 6.89 divided by itself will give a value of 1. And then we'll take the 17.07, divide that by 6.89. This works out to be 2.47. I'm going to round that off to 2.5. We need to remember that empirical formula means the lowest whole number ratio of elements present in a compound. 1 to 2.5 doesn't really meet that criteria. So I'm going to take both of these values and multiply them by 2. So that'll be 2 here, multiplied by 2 here, multiplication symbol. That will be equal to 5. So the empirical formula of this compound is C2. H5. And that's how we determined the empirical formula for this hydrocarbon, which is 82.76% carbon, 17.24% hydrogen. And those percentages are, of course, percentages by mass. The next step of this problem is to use the combined information of molar mass we know that this compound in the problem had a molar mass of 58.14 grams. Uh, we'll pair that up with the information that we can find from the empirical formula. Uh, we just figured out the empirical formula for this compound was C2H5. So what I would like to do first is to calculate what mass would I have from C2H5. So I'm taking the mass of a hydrogen, 12.01, multiplying by 2, and the mass of a hydrogen, 1.01, .01, multiplying by 5. Uh, so I find that I get a value of 29.07 grams. I can see that this is half of the molar mass. Uh, so what I need to do to find the molecular formula is take the empirical formula, C2H5, and multiply everything by 2 to find the molecular formula of C4H10. Now, a quick check of this would reveal that I have the correct answer. I can take 4 times 12 from the carbons to find 48, 1 times 10 from the hydrogens to get uh, an additional 10 grams. 48 plus 10 is giving me the 58 grams per mole. 
So from the molecular formula data, we can uh, figure out a structure of this molecule. One possible uh, way to arrange the four carbons and 10 hydrogens would be to produce a straight chain alkane. We can see that there are four carbons bonded together by single covalent bonds, and then the remainder of the bonds for each carbon are going to be taken up by hydrogen atoms. We can see that there are three hydrogens on terminal carbons, and carbons within the chain uh, will have two hydrogens bonded to them.